Teresa Lott is not at her usual desk. Teresa is a water quality agent in Florence. And tonight, I think you're wearing a different hat. Teresa, what's happening? Well, that's not right. I don't have a hat on at all. But you are <laughs> right that I am in a different location this evening over here at the side counter as we prepare for Thanksgiving in just a few weeks. We're going to show you how you can transform a longleaf pine cone into a family-friendly decoration for your holiday gathering. Now, I have a very special guest with me today. Can you tell everyone at home your name? I'm Ellie Flynn. Ellie Flynn. And how old are you, Ellie? Five. Five years old. Now, are you excited about making a turkey with me today? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you have any pets at home? You don't have turkeys, I bet. I got Gizmo. What kind of animal is Gizmo? A cat. A cat. Did you know I have dogs at home? Dad. I have four, five Gizmo's, dogs in my house right Gizmo's now. Gizmo's going to be crazy about her. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turkey is pretty easy to take care of, so it can be sort of like a pet, but you don't have to feed it. That's a good thing. Yeah, because yeah, it's just pretend. It's just pretend. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So we have a pine cone, and we have some feet already made from this very strong floral wire. It looks like raffia on the outside has wire on the inside, so you can get your turkey to stand up on its very own. And what color did you decide to have the feet and legs, Ellie? Yellow. Yellow, that's right. So we are going to start putting our turkey together. And to do that, we have to mold some clay. And we're going to put that in the openings on the longleaf cone. And that will hold all of our feathers in place. So shall we get started, Ellie? Yes. Yes, can you help me to start rolling out the Crayola Model Magic? Uh-huh. OK. Model Magic. Model Magic, there we go. Can we put it in? Good job. So we're going to keep stuffing and feathering, and we'll check ow, back ow, in later ow. and let you know how our turkey is progressing. And uh, Ellie has been working hard over here crafting our Thanksgiving turkey, right, Ellie? Yes, ma'am. Yes, and we had to fill up our pine cone with the model magic. You like how that feels, don't you? Yes. And you helped me to start making the turkey's head. How did you help me with the turkey? What did we put on there? Eyeballs. We put eyeballs on there so the turkey can see. See. And which part did you want to add next? This that's part. What, that's going to be the beak? Yeah. Yes. Should we tell everybody our secret, what it is? It goes in the other direction. Just like this. Can you push it in? I'll help. Ouch! Oh, the turkey said it hurt. No, it didn't. Oh, I'm silly, aren't I? All right, so now we have our turkey head made out of a styrofoam ball. We have two googly eyes, and we have a beak that is made from the end of a feather. We just cut the tip off of the feather so it that we could... It wasn't that feather. It wasn't that one. How did you know? It's a different color, isn't it? So shall we start adding feathers to our turkey now? Yep. Yes, which one would you like to add first? Ooh, the pretty brown feather. And should our turkey have a few feathers or a lot of feathers? A lot. A lot. Well, Ellie says that we should have a lot of feathers. So we are going to get busy stuffing our bird with feathers. And when you come back later, we'll give you all the tips on how you can create your own pine cone turkey. Thanks, Amanda. Ellie has been working very hard over here to get our turkey finished. You can see we've added lots of feathers. But you have one more special feather you want to add, right? Yeah. Which one? The red one? Well, I need your help. I can't do it. I need you to put it in for me. Can you stick it in the, in the turkey? All right. This is the last feather. Is that a good spot? Oh, I think that is perfect. But our turkey isn't finished yet. It's missing its head. head. It's missing its head. So I'm going to bring the turkey over here a little closer to me. Oh, we forgot to cover up his... Neck. His neck. So we made a special little cover out of uh, felt. Now on a real turkey, I think that this piece would probably be red, but we decided we'd go for an artistic rendition of a turkey. So we're making his neck brown. Can you get it? Let me, there we go. Super. It's all finished in there. And then we just need to stick the stick down in the clay. Ellie, do you know what a turkey says? Oh, gobble, gobble. Gobble, we have a headless turkey, but we can fix it. We can put his head right back on. 
The stick. On the stick. Very good. A turkey says gobble gobble? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now, are you going to eat some turkey for Thanksgiving? Yes, I am. You are. Are you going to eat this turkey? Yeah. Well, why not? Because this says pretend. It's just pretend. I keep forgetting. It looks so real. Would you like to help me add this part? I think this is called the snood on a turkey. What a strange name, huh? Yeah. I'll put a little bit of glue on, and then can you wrap that over the beak up here? You know what I think that this is used for? Mm -hmm. I think the boy turkeys, I think it's how they help get a girlfriend. Isn't that silly? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it looks great, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. That's a boy rooster. Yeah. <laughs> a turkey though, aren't we? We don't eat roosters on Thanksgiving, do we? <laughs> now, I think we need to name our turkey, do you think? What can we name Fido. it? Fido. What is it? Fido. Fido? Are we gonna name it Fido? Purple. Purple, all right. What should we name the uh, turkey? Purple. Purp we're gonna name it Purple, Purple the turkey. Okay, if you say so, we'll name him Purple. Now, I have one last uh, piece for you to add. We've made a little slit up in the top of the turkey's head just using some scissors. You can just open them up. Now, we did this ahead of time so it'd be easier. And Ellie, do you think you can add this into there? Can you push it down in there? Yes, I can. Oh, good job. Do you know what this is called? The comb. The comb. On a, oh no, we knocked the beak out. Ew. Oh goodness. You know, making crafts can be a little bit tricky, can't it? Yeah. Yes, but don't worry, I think we can fix up our turkey over the break just fine. We'll fix the eyes. <laughs> now, you know what? I think our turkey's kind of silly because turkeys don't have combs. Roosters yep. have combs, so we kind of have a turkey rooster going on. We're going to make some finishing touches, get our eyes back on, and get our head secured because poor turkey, poor purple turkey is not looking very good. And when we come back at the end, we'll show you our finished project and give you some ideas in case you want to do something just a little bit different. We have a very colorful turkey. Ellie, can you show everyone at home how we've been adding some color to our turkey? Yes. What, what have we been using? We're using the balls and stuff because that's very true and we need that for our turkey because we don't want it to um, fall down so we use the colors and we do want what what um, the turkey tells us was to gobble gobble. <laughs> well would you like to show everybody at home how to put these in so that they can make one themselves if they want to? Sure. Okay. Can you add this green pom-pom to our turkey? Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Just a few more finishing touches for us and we'll show you the finished project at the end of the show. It has been a blast working on our Thanksgiving turkey. I did miss my chatters, but I hope that if you have joined in the chat room, you had a great conversation. And thanks again to Trish Jahan for helping from home. Now, Ellie, do you know, you remember what we spelled out out here with our clay? Turkey. Turkey, very good. And uh, I think we made some something for the turkey to eat. Worms. Worms. So even though it's a pretend turkey, he will be hungry? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'm glad we've got him something to eat. Did you have fun making the turkey? Yes. Do you think some other kids at home should try it too? Yeah, ma'am. Oh, very good. I, you have very nice manners. Thank you for helping me out tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> for Thanksgiving, what do you think you might eat with your turkey? Are you going to have mashed potatoes? That's turkey. You're going to eat this turkey for Thanksgiving? But you told me he was pretend. No, I mean a uh, turkey from the farm they got dead. Oh, okay, very good. Well, I think yeah. we have one last thing, and that's to wish everyone at home a happy Thanksgiving. Can you help me? Can you wave and tell them happy Thanksgiving? Ready? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>